So we've been crying out to God for peace in this world. And God give us peace in America. And you're right. This world needs peace. And America needs peace. What's one of the things that we can do to get peace? One of the things that we can do to get peace is start with ourselves. Peace starts with you. And peace starts with me. Peace starts with us individually. What can you do to be to begin healing in areas of your life? What can you do to begin healing yourself? You can start by taking a pen and a piece of paper and writing down all the areas. Right now you just brainstorm. You just write down all the areas in your life where it needs to come to order, where it needs to come into peace. For example, I need peace in my closet. I need my closet to be more organized. I just can't find the time to do it, but I need peace in my closet. I need peace in my household. I need peace in my relationship. I need peace in my relationship with my children. I want them to, to start listening to me when I talk to them. I need peace. Uh, with my husband or with my wife. When we have a conversation, I don't want it to keep ending up in uh, an argument. I, I want peace in that area of our lives and our conversation. I want peace in the area of my finances. I don't want to be living from paycheck to paycheck. I need peace in my emotions. I don't want to want to feel pulled this way and that way in my emotions. I want my, my mind to be sound. I need peace in my body. I need healing in my body so that my body is made whole. I need peace there. These are some examples of uh, what you could write down. This is just examples. It could be something totally different or you can use some of those. Now that you have a list, now you can take it before the Lord in prayer, a prayer or a petition. And these are some verses that you can use when petitioning God. John 14, 27. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give unto you. Not as the world giveth, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. And this is Jesus saying this, John 14, 27. In Isaiah 9, 6, Lord, for your word says that you are wonderful, counselor, mighty God, the everlasting father, the prince of peace. So this is when you're re bringing God in remembrance of his word. When you're praying and you're saying, Lord, I need peace in my finances because your word says, and that right there, write that down because your word says, write that phrase down. That phrase is very powerful because when you say your word says, you're speaking in faith. Lord, I believe your word and this is what your word says. Your word says that you are the prince of peace, that you are the counselor, you're the mighty God, the everlasting father. You're wonderful. And Lord, your word says I can have peace in my finances because um, you said that uh, peace I leave with you, my peace I give unto you, not as the world giveth, give I unto you. This is what your word said, and Lord, I'm receiving your peace in my relationship with my son. I'm receiving your peace in my relationship with my daughter. I pray for peace in this area of my life. I pray for peace in my emotions. Lord, I pray for peace because your word says, and here's another scripture, Mark 4.39, And he arose and rebuked the wind and said unto the sea, Peace, be still. And the wind ceased and there was a great calm. So, when you go before the Lord, this is just an example of how you can pray. You can say, Father in heaven, in the name of Jesus, I pray.
pray that you give me peace in my closet. I need peace in that closet, Lord, because your word says, peace, be still. Because your word says, peace, I leave with you. My peace I give unto you. Not, not as the world giveth, give I unto you. So that's bringing God a remembrance of his word. And that's also bringing your petition before the Lord. And that's, it's, it's like speaking his, his language. It's kind of like when you're in a relationship and you have to learn each other's language. And in order to speak to this person, you know that you have to say it a certain way for them to get it. And the same thing, they have to say things a certain way to you for you to get it. So you're learning each other's language, and that's what brings relationship. You're learning how to converse. You're learning how to you're learning how to express yourself to each other. And so, so once you do that, you bring God a remembrance of His Word, Isaiah forty three twenty six. Also remember that Jesus is the Prince of Peace. That God is love. So it's not so much that God gives love. Well, He does give love. But what he's really giving is himself. He's giving you himself because he is love. So if God is love, and that's uh, 1 John 4, 8, God is love. Now, you brought your petition before the Lord. You prayed your prayer, and you brought him in remembrance of his word. Now what do you do? Now, you declare and decree it. You don't talk about the situation that's actually happening to your friends anymore. Why? Because you've given it to God Almighty. Your friends cannot help you. If they could have helped you, they would have helped you. But they can't help you. So now that you've brought it before the Lord, it's in His hands. Now that it's in His hands, your conversations with your friends and your family have to change. And this is very important. This is very important. Because sometimes it's almost natural for us to talk about the situation. Don't don't do those conversations anymore. Um, now you want a, you want to do a faith conversation, and you may need a special mentor or a grandmother or somebody in your life who you can speak faith to and faith with. Like I'm believing the Lord for peace in this area of my life. You don't have to tell it. Sometimes it's best not to tell it. But if they ever bring that person's name up to you, you can say, you know, um, we're fine. Right now, I'm believing the Lord for peace in this situation. And I believe that the Lord will bring peace. So your conversation has to change. It's kind of like when you're working out and you just say you're trying to shed some pounds, you have to not only work out, but you also have to change the way you eat. So it goes hand in hand. It's two. It's a two-way thing. Um, so now you're changing your conversation and you're declaring and decreeing it 